Hello and welcome to today's topic, Dical. Commercially available calcium hydroxide is known as Dical. Dical is a calcium hydroxide rigid setting material for direct and indirect pulp capping and a protective liner under dental filling material or the restorative material, cements and other base materials. Dical is a radio-opaque material capable of self-curing or self-setting. Dical is available as two-paste system, tubes consisting of a base paste and a catalyst paste. Both pastes are dispensed in equal amounts and mixed to a uniform color. Setting results from the formation of amorphous calcium disalcate. They are available in two colors, dentin and ivory colors. Looking into the composition of base paste, it consists of 1,3-butylene glycol disalicylate that reacts with calcium hydroxide and the zinc oxide. It consists of zinc oxide, calcium phosphate, calcium tungstate which provides the radio opacity of the material, iron oxide that renders color to the material. Next, the catalyst paste consists of calcium hydroxide, which is the primary reactive ingredient. Other primary ingredient is the zinc oxide, then the N-ethyl ortho or paratoline sulfonamide, which acts as the plasticizer. Titanium dioxide provides radio opacity, zinc stearate, which acts as an accelerator, and iron oxide pigments are provided only in the dentin shade to render color to the material. Manipulation of Dicol The two pastes are dispensed equally on a paper pad supplied by the manufacturer and mixed to obtain a uniform color in an ideal mixing time of 10 seconds. The mixed material sets in two and a half to three and a half minutes on a mixing pad, but in clinical situations, it sets much faster. The setting time is shorter in the mouth due to the moisture and temperature. Increased humidity and elevated temperature will reduce the available work time and the set time. Conversely, decreased humidity and lower temperature will increase the available working time and the setting time. Significance of Dicol Dicol stimulates the formation of secondary dentin. It is acid resistant and has low solubility. Seeing the indications and contraindications of Dicol Indications it's used in direct and indirect pulp capping. Contraindications. Hypersensitivity against the sulfonamides. To conclude, a wonderful saying by Confucius. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. There are no shortcuts, only hard work. Hard work pays off. Thank you.